Hello everyone, and welcome back. Yeah, that's right, it's me. I'm uploading again. Due to the success of the last video, which, I'll be honest, I didn't think would do that well, I've decided that this series is also going to be a weekly upload. Hey, hey, no, no, where are you going? No, shh, shh. Come back, come back, please. I've decided the Pokemon that we're going to be hunting today will be the Pokemon Greninja. Greninja, the Ninja Pokemon. And so, if you're looking forward to the upload today, please do like and subscribe, share with friends, and let's get right into it. Oh yeah, also, you should join the Discord. It's down in the description below. Uh, that's just a heads up. There's going to be important reminders and stuff like that on there. So, uh, yeah, just go check that out. Oh yeah, I nearly forgot. Uh, I did say that whoever got the most likes on what we should name this Heracross here would get to pick the name. And the most liked comment was... Let me check. It was Beetleman21 by my, my good friend Gnome. And so, gonna take the name and directly give it to the Heracross. You shall now, henceforth and forever onwards, be known as Beetleman21. If you want to pick what nickname the Greninja is at the end of this video, you know, leave a comment suggesting what we should name it. Also, Gnome, I hope you don't mind. The Heracross is a female, so I'm just gonna... There we go. Fixed it. We love to see it. Oh, Jesus Christ. What the... I was trying to record the intro, and then a damn bee drill shows up. Is Fungus gonna do something about this? I right, so I'm the only one who... Okay, there we go. There we go, Fungus. Now, I bet you guys are wondering, Ramen Boy... How is it that you're going to actually find a Greninja? Well, according to the Pixelmon Wiki, I can't actually remember. I'll, I'm going to put it up on screen. I don't remember the exact spawn rates. However, what I do recall is that they're very easy to find while fishing. You've got to use the Super Rod, though, so that's important. I could pull up the chart and describe it exactly, but come on. Like, I mean, let's, let's be real. You don't need to hear what I'm saying. You can see the screen. I'm sure that there's some super rare way you can get it to spawn in the overworld, but, um, I like fishing, so. Also, lucky for us, there's a swamp right here near our base, meaning we can already start, uh, fishing for it. I'm sure that Greninja will spawn anywhere if you fish enough, but I like the swamp because, you know, sometimes Grimer will show up. I'm gonna go to the other side of this small little lake here, because I do not want to be followed. And while usually I want to hang out with people, fishing is a one-man activity. You can't have too many people while you're fishing. It gets, you know, it gets interrupted. Now that we're here, uh, we're just going to fish until we find the Greninja. I know, it's uh, it's incredibly difficult. I can, I can tell you, this is going to be super hard. We've also got my good friend, Tubby the Dragonite, who's going to be the one to help us actually, you know, knock out everything that isn't the Greninja. And... We've got my Catcher Bell Sprout, the Weepin' Bell, who's gonna help us put the Greninja to sleep. You'd be surprised how many things that this Bell Sprout has killed. With all of that out of the way, montage that's the exact same as the last time. Begin. The first encounter is a Basculin. Don't mind me, I'm eating kettle corn while I do this. Core fish is encounter number two. And I apologize for eating while I record another core fish. I almost missed it, because I was uh, eating my kettle corn. Another Basculin. That's encounter number four, I believe. Ooh, encounter number six? Or it's five. You you'll see on the video. Seed King. That's good. That is very good. I'm going to have so much stuff by the end of this. Just so much fish in my inventory. A Grimer. Okay. This is why it is that I like the fish in the swamp. Because Grimer will drop the Black Sludge item sometimes. That's just a helpful item. Oh, I got, um, see what Enchanted book I just got. I got, um, Efficiency 5. You can get a lot of cool, um, books by fishing as well, but you have to be kind of high level. I get a lot of Silk Touch from this. And another Sea King. Oh, a Wild Frog Deer. Okay, I could end right here, but I did say that I wanted to find a Wild Greninja specifically. So, while I could end the hunt right now, Instead, I'm going to catch this, and then I'm going to keep looking for Greninja, and if I, if I can't find it by, let's say, 520, so that's 10 more minutes of fishing, I'll just go with the Frogadier. We did it! Okay, we caught the Frogadier, and if we look right here, we caught it! Okay, what, what ability is it? It is 
torrent. Not a great nature, but you know, it can be fixed. Look at this beautiful guy. He's got important stuff to say. Another Basculin? Ooh, a wild muck! Okay. If I didn't have one of those already, I would definitely use it. But since I do, uh... Yeah. Another Corefish. A Dew Piter. A Grimer. Another Fire Punch. Ooh! A wild pea bass? Okay, we have to catch the pea bass. It's not what we want, but it's just such a rare Pokemon. Ooh! What was that? Okay. Alright, this is my last minute of fishing. Last minute of fishing. If I don't catch a Greninja... Yeah, yeah, let's go! Let's go! Right when I was saying that this was my last fish! Oh my god! <laughs> I was literally just saying, if I don't catch a Greninja this time, that's my last go. But look at that! Wild Greninja right there. In the flesh. Okay, Feebass, I'm gonna have to let you die to take a hit for a clean switch to Frogadier. Let's bubble it. Yeah, okay. We're just gonna bubble for a little bit of chip damage. Okay, and now we send out the Catcher Bell Sprout. Sleep Powder. Use Knock Off. Oh, yeah, we can use a couple Knock Offs. Okay, it's stronger than we are, so we can use a handful of knockoffs. Alright, sleep powder. Sleep powder. Switch into tubby. Alright, now we start throwing pokeballs. Oh! Let's go! Let's go! We caught it! We caught the Greninja first fall! We did it! Oh, I'm guys, I'm actually so good at this video game. Look at him. Is it a him? Is it a him? Yes, it is. Look at him. Look at him right here. Oh my god, what a legend, huh? I did not think it would be that easy. Can you ride Greninja? Oh wow, you can. Does he do a little anime run? He does a little anime run. Okay, that's funny. That's actually really funny. Alright, let's check its stats, huh? Um... Uh, minus speed, plus special attack. That's not too far off from what we want. Uh, this Greninja can work, hold on. Flash IVs, 5. It's a 50% IV, too? That's amazing. All right, um, I've got to figure out what to do with this thing. All right, so now I'm going to show off the haul for today. First, we caught a frogadier, a little small one. Then we caught this really surprising Feebass. And then, most importantly, we caught the Greninja. I'd say that was a good haul, especially for how short that I went fishing. Oh, what? Yo, when it comes to Greninja, it, it's a pretty, you know, fluid Pokemon. It could be run physical, I think. It could be run special as well. Um, or it could just be speedy and whatever, whatever other stat you want to put into it. It's also really good for coverage, especially if you manage to breed for a hidden ability. So, yeah, uh, if you have any ideas as to what we should nickname the Greninja, leave them in the comments down below. I also would like to hear what Pokemon that you, yes, you, want to see us hunt for next time. With everything I wanted to say out of the way, well, I'll see you guys next time. Goodbye. Sing it, puppet. Uh.